I am pleased to welcome you to this pioneering event aimed at fostering solidarity between Africa and Haiti through cultural celebration, economic support, and international advocacy. It is my hope that this event is one of many in the quest to garner support for development projects in Haiti, together with raising global awareness about Haiti's development challenges and opportunities. Kenya and Haiti enjoy cordial relations cemented by the signing of an agreement to establish diplomatic relations between Kenya and Haiti on 21st September 2023. Haiti has a long history of political instability since its independence on 1st January 1804. Currently, the Haiti situation is complex and the suffering of the Haitian people has attracted collective consciousness. The multinational security support mission in Haiti has garnered wildwood, worldwide support, which is a testament of the continued shift towards the world as a global village and the importance given to worldwide peace and security. Ladies and gentlemen, this event aims to strengthen bonds of solidarity between African and Haitian communities through the sharing of music and culture, which are powerful media for bring, bridging gaps and building connections across diverse communities. I take this opportunity to welcome visiting artists from diverse backgrounds, including Haiti, Kenya, Romania, the United States, Zimbabwe, Liberia, Burundi, and Congo, among others. The Ministry of Foreign and Diaspora Affairs is pleased to co-host this event and wishes to provide a platform that addresses information and awareness gaps locally concerning the important role played by Haiti in Africa's history of liberation and culture. I also wish that this event creates local awareness and bridges gaps concerning the importance of the multinational security support mission in Haiti. Deployment of Kenyan police and Haiti's significant role in Africa's history of liberation and culture. As I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, it is my wish that this event succeeds in raising global awareness about Haiti's development challenges, opportunities, and resili resilience, together with promoting international cooperation, transcending race, religion, political affiliation, and global ranking. I welcome you all to participate in this event that celebrates the culture, cultural heritage of Africa and Haiti through music, art, and dance, fostering a sense of unity and solidarity. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just add a few remarks, maybe a minute or two. First, I think it is important that as we are at this event, we acknowledge the act of not just empathy, but courage from our president, William Samoy Ruto, when he stood out and said he is ready to lead the initiative of bringing harmony and peace to the people of Haiti. We will recall that this gesture of his did receive ridicule amongst some quarters.
basically because people maybe did not understand the magnitude of the challenge ahead. People did not perhaps understand that it has taken a global dimension with the full backing of the United Nations. And of course, there are those who amongst every society will not bother about their neighbor or their sister. So these quarters did provide some measure of ridicule. But I want to say that as we speak, a few days ago, the Secretary of State of the United States, while visiting Haiti, did acknowledge the indispensable role that Kenya is playing in trying to restore stability and peace in Haiti. Ladies and gentlemen, anarchy breeds absolute anarchy. It leads to a situation of lack of law, lack of order, lack of peace, lack of sleep, lack of food, lack of medical care, lack of education. Basically, anarchy dehumanizes human beings. It is therefore important that when we talk about issues of security and peace, we must take it a notch higher. We must graduate from national security to regional security to international security and then ultimately to human security. Human security is the ultimate objective of this initiative. So it is important that we pull together, we work together, we support the efforts, and we appeal to the other nations within the continent who have been showing interest in now being part of the Kenyan-led multinational support that please put your best foot forward. We also want to appeal to other partners. If you cannot have boots on the ground, we would be very happy to see you giving logistical support, giving financial support to this effort so that the people of Haiti, the young children of Haiti, can stop living in dehumanizing conditions and live like other citizens globally. Finally, in Kenya, we have a song, Kenya Hakuna Matata. Let us all work so that later we can also have Hakuna Matata Haiti, Ama Haiti Hakuna Matata. We can do this if we all work together so that we can save our brothers and sisters from the challenges that they are facing. So ladies and gentlemen, with these remarks, let me fully associate the government of Kenya to this noble cause and once again give our appreciation to the young Kenyans through the Inspector General and the National Security Advisor to the young Kenyans who have put their feet on the ground, the ones who have the boots on the ground, it's really courageous. We wish them well. We must support them. We must not ridicule them. This is a great moment for Kenya to prove that we, where lives are, Kenya is concerned. Thank you and God bless you all. Asante Santo.